is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2025 mercedes-benz gla 250 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because this is a relatively affordable mercedes-benz suv the interior quality is spot on i can tell you that already right off the bat and in case you were curious, ultimately this SUV is competing with others like the Volvo XC40 and the BMW X2, just to name a couple there. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there are a couple different configurations for the 2025 GLA 250. You got the front wheel drive setup starting at 43,000 even, the formatic all wheel drive starting at $45,000 even. Then there is an exclusive trim for an additional $1,500 and then a pinnacle trim for an additional $5,150 in case you were curious about all of that. But regardless of the configuration that you go with, the power plant on the GLA 250 is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with a mild hybrid system, putting out 200 21 horsepower, 5,500 RPM, 258 pound-feet of torque coming in at 1,800 RPM. That power being sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed dual clutch with paddle shifters, which of course you guys know we will be testing out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time, approximately 6.8 seconds for the front wheel drive, but then 6.6 .6 seconds for the all wheel drive, so slightly quicker there. With MPG numbers coming in at 26 in the city, 34 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 24 city, 32 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel. But said that before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the GLA, I do want to mention to you guys the drive modes. It said there's a dynamic button. It stands for dynamic select that is located kind of in the, just behind the cup holders, we'll put it that way. Drive modes are going to include comfort, eco, sport, individual, and off-road. Adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, the eco start stop system, and if you were to put it in that off-road mode, you can actually get a 50-50 torque split, so a little better added traction there. And with the individual mode, there's actually an option to do a full manual shift mode by using the paddle shifter. So that's pretty stinking cool as well. I love that. So now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test. I want to see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react for us here. And let's, of course, see how quickly we can get our new GLA 250 here up to speed. All right, we are set up here in sport driving mode in three, two, one, go. Alright, couple things. One, paddle shifters are instantaneous, as expected with the dual clutch transmission, quite honestly. But yeah, loving the paddle shifters. They definitely serve their purpose. Having said that, they are a matte black plastic, so I wouldn't have minded if they upgraded kind of the quality of the paddle shifters, but they are still lightning quick, instantaneous paddle shifters. So plenty of fun there. And you can also actually use them for engine braking if it's snowing out rather than hitting the brakes or sliding off the road. Just do a little bit of downshifting using the paddle shifter. So they're good for that reason too. Uh, it prevents you from sliding off the road, but love the paddle shifters. Acceleration was plenty quick as well. One of the best parts about that acceleration is traditionally with turbocharged four cylinder engines, there's somewhat of some kind of turbo lag at the beginning, a little bit of a delay but because of the mild hybrid system, it was instantaneous. So there wasn't any sort of delay whatsoever with this turbocharged four cylinder because of that mild hybrid system, instantaneous acceleration, most definitely not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. Mercedes-Benz crushed it with the acceleration and the paddle shifters here on the GLA 250. But anyhow, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking, of course, is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.6 inch solid rear disc as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes that comes in at 120 feet which quite honestly that's plenty respectable on paper let's just go ahead and hit the brakes since there's no one behind us love it love it firm side of things definitely on the firm side of things it's not a loosey-goosey kind of braking feel that you traditionally do find in suvs mercedes-benz yet again crushing it on the performance aspect of the gla 250 here so acceleration great braking great now let's go ahead and touch on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent four link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it has been 100 perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today definitely absorbing the road of perfection is perfectly fine so don't have any issues there 
As far as uh, steering feel goes, let me actually put it back in sport driving mode here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Still crushing it. It weighted, it's weighted on the heavier side of things, at least in that sport driving mode, so it instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. If you don't want that heavy steering feel, there is comfort driving mode, there's eco, there's all those other driving modes, so that definitely does loosen it up a little bit. But even in comfort, it feels great. It's not a super loosey-goosey steering feel like you quite often find in SUV, so well done there. As far as cabin noise goes, we're going 48 miles per hour right now. Very little wind noise, very little road noise as well. It is pretty windy actually today. Uh, again, a little bit of engine noise but to me that's a good thing i love engine noise but it's been brilliant so excellent very serene cabin here in the gli once again crushing it touching our rear visibility uh because of the shape of this one you really shouldn't have any issues there so i can see perfectly fine out the back in terms of forward visibility rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on the gli for all configurations across the board so whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on the windshield wipers for you so kind of like automatic headlights just one less thing you got to worry about there so you got to love that and if you were to go with that pinnacle trim you will also get a head-up display that's going to project your speed speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield better helping you keep your eyes on the road so you can better enjoy your drive in the GLA so anywho that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and make our way to the exterior of our brand new 2025 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250. All right so here she is you guys the new 2025 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 finished in night black in case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one with us here today but as always let's go ahead and start with where this one is made taking a look at the VIN first character is the letter W indicating that the new GLA 250 is built and assembled in Germany as it should be but starting up front horizontal aluminum trim on that front grille of course that does come standard diamond block front grille though you can still get that that's with the AMG night package that package goes for three thousand one hundred fifty dollars that gives you the whole AMG kind of appearance I guess you could say if you were interested in that but illuminated star is available for four hundred fifty dollars if you wanted that option as far as the lower front bumper trim you're either going to get chrome or gloss black depending upon the configuration that you go with or depending upon if you get that AMG package or not, that's going to give you the gloss block basically. But then to the sides, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard. You get the automatic feature with that, along with automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce a bit back up the high beams for you there so definitely very nice there but i wanted to mention with the pinnacle trim you do get active led headlights so if you're going around a bend at night these headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a sasquatch or an alien or whatever the case but also down below led fog lights you guys can see those there's actually do come standard for all configurations across the board as well but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of the gla let's now go ahead and swing around to this side all right and so now since we are around to the side of this one aluminum roof rails do come standard across the board chrome window surrounds also coming standard on this one along with rear privacy glass chrome accents found on the door handles as well as on the side skirts down below you guys can see that however on the side skirts those chrome accents are going to be swapped out for gloss black again if you go with the amg package that is taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals then as well then taking a look down at the wheel setup the standard setup is going to be 18 inch twin five spoke alloys but there of course are plenty of different wheel configurations ranging from 18 inch 19 inch and 20 inch wheel designs available so you can really personalize the gla and make it your own so that's pretty cool but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and swing around to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one first thing i want to mention is if you look all the way to the top on the roof there there is no shark fin antenna very clean look here on mercedes really any mercedes Mercedes has been doing that lately so that's pretty cool just below that you got a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper of course LED tail lights coming standard across the board they are super bright you guys can see that rear diffuser with the AMG package I can't show that to you guys because obviously we don't have that AMG package with us here today but um, as far as the exhaust outlets go I will say it kind of makes it look like there are dual exhaust outlets integrated into the rear bumper with chrome tips however the real exhaust outlets are actually tucked away. Nothing is coming out of those inserts into the rear bumper, unfortunately, but nonetheless, it is dual exhaust outlets. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Hey, 
did some analysis we are around to the back of the GLA when it comes to opening that rear lift gate a manual lift gate does come standard however power lift gate is available we do have that with us here today there's a button on the key fob rubberized button on the trunk itself then as well and there's actually a button on the driver's side door here too but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 19 cubic feet even behind that second row if that was not enough space so there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down bumping that up to 50.5 cubic feet then there's a cargo cover back there you got cargo lighting you have some chrome plated tie down anchors a little bit of netted storage there to the sides you found an elastic strap to hold things in place that's kind of cool grocery bag hooks back there a 12 volt power outlet and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you are going to find some in-floor storage which is always nice to see but then make your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 38 inches even for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the second row there rear center armrest cup holders is going to be optional an option that we don't have with us here today unfortunately rear ventilation though does come standard you got a little bit of storage underneath that rear ventilation dual rear usb charging ports you also actually have a 115 volt power outlet as well which is pretty cool but then making our way up to the front seats eight-way power driver seat with four-way power lumbar coming standard memory settings for both driver and passenger coming standard as well usually don't find the memory settings for the passenger side so that's kind of crazy but mb tex upholstery coming standard leather seating goes for 1450 dollars heated seats go for 500 as far as seat comfort goes it was okay um, not the very most adjustable power lumbar that I've tested, but the seats definitely get the job done. I don't have any issues there, but then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. It is going to be heated for an additional $450 if you wanted that option, but 10 and 2 grips are perfectly fine there. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. Essentially, all of your buttons are located on one side of the key here. Got lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear lift gate there, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of those center air vents there and so once started up gauges are always phenomenal in any mercedes you get a 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster there's a little home button though on the left side of the steering wheel if you press that you get all kinds of different loadouts like understated i kept that on for most of my drive there's sport there's classic there's an off-road kind of loadout as well completely changes the colors completely changes the whole gauge cluster up there so I think Mercedes does gauges better than anybody else probably because these loadouts are just absolutely phenomenal. You can really customize it to make it look really however you want. Of course, you got outside temperature, you got a digital speedometer, how many miles you have left until you hit empty and all the rest of the basics, but gauges look absolutely amazing. So now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Let me start with the optional panorama roof that goes for $1,500 that gives both the driver, passenger, and the rear passengers a view of the sky. So you gotta love that universal garage door opener coming standard that's for up to three different garage doors found at the bottom portion of that rear view mirror there which by the way is frameless you gotta love that wireless phone charger located just in front of the cup holders there dual zone climate control coming standard as well along with one of my favorite parts about this car 64 colors of ambient lighting that's why i wanted to kind of park in the shade so i can at least show that to you guys a little bit it is so freakishly bright and it, i'm sure it's going to be even brighter if it were to actually be nighttime but it looks dang good. Mercedes does ambient lighting better than any other manufacturer. I always say that, but aluminum trim, if you wanted that, goes for $175. Wood trim goes for $325. The standard setup is this Mercedes-Benz star logo kind of trim that's found on the door as well as just above the passenger side glove box. That looks plenty fine as well, so I don't have any issues there, but a lot of contrast stitching, a lot of soft touch material. I like the standard silver finish kind of on the grab handle on the doors. That looks good as well. Touching on everything up front here, again, that wireless phone charger just behind that you have a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port a couple cup holders a little bit of rubberized storage and within the center armrest it's a decent amount of space it's pretty deep in there and i uh, got a couple more usb charging ports in there so overall interior quality like i said is absolutely amazing one of the cool parts about this interior lighting too is it's a fade on and fade off effect so you hit the light and it just slowly fades on and off. So another really cool little feature that Mercedes-Benz does here in the GLA. I like all the gloss black finishes found just below the infotainment screen as well. So 
wonderful, wonderful job here in terms of interior quality here. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen because this is dang good as well. So you're going to get a 10.3 inch infotainment screen, Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard, wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, also standard. You can check out your fuel information at any given time if you wanted to do that. There's some off-road statistics up there as well. There's, of course, driving information. You can check out your ambient lighting settings up there. And there's also the famous Hey Mercedes functionality. Hello, I'm Mercedes, your voice assistant. Would you like to know more about what I can do for you? Turn on the radio. She did it. So yeah, that system works absolutely amazing as well. It's a lot simpler than uh, doing the touchscreen, quite honestly. Just talk to it. So kind of cool. Of course, you can check out your radio information up there as well, since I mentioned it. So when it comes to the sound system, there is one of them that comes standard, but then there's an optional sound system as well. So six speakers does come standard in this thing, but there is an optional 12 speaker Burmester surround sound system with 590 watts and a nine channel digital amplifier. Let me see if we have that with us here today. We don't. So we got the six speaker sound system. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. It's okay. It's actually above average for a six speaker sound system. I wish there was a little bit more, but that's what you got the optional sound system for. So for me personally, that's an option I'd probably go with, but it was decent for a six speaker sound system. It was okay, but I want more personally. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the GLA in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board. Very high definition rear view camera as well. So you got to love that. Then pinnacle trim is actually going to give you a surround view monitor, giving you that bird's eye view, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbag up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors to tethers your children for the rear car seats rear child door locks high pressure monitoring system but also coming standard active brake assist mercedes-benz emergency call service attention assist a blind spot monitoring system and cross wind assist then as well a couple other optional safety features you got adaptive cruise control for 600 bucks and rear side impact airbags for 700 dollars if you were interested but Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, the GLA 250, the ambient lighting is phenomenal. It's better than any other vehicle out there, minus the Sony Aphelia, which isn't even out yet. But that ambient lighting is insane. But Mercedes-Benz really does do ambient lighting better than everybody else. Excellent tech as well. These The gauges specifically is just phenomenal. The infotainment screen is fine as well. But the gauges, the loadouts that's available on this thing, they look absolutely amazing. So I got no complaints there. Great driving dynamics. Like I said, the paddle shifters were lightning quick. Acceleration, there was no delay whatsoever. Braking is phenomenal. Steering feels perfectly fine. So driving dynamics, definitely on point here. Overall interior quality, absolutely phenomenal. Again, you got plenty of different options there. But in typical Mercedes fashion, it really is finished quite nicely. I think the only thing that I could possibly think of for the GLA 250 is the interior kind of leather options. I would like to see a little more colors. So I know if you go on their website, you'll see the traditional, the, the black and tans and uh, a red color option as well. But I'm looking for different, like Mercedes Benz can pull off different because they're Mercedes. And I'm thinking like a hunter green or like a navy blue would look dang good in this car but maybe it's just me that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think of the gla 250 in the comment section below that's about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that's what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold